Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Nirav Shah, New York State's Health Commissioner. I wish I could have joined you in person today to take part in the launch of the Regional Health Improvement Plan and Regional Health Information website. We're living in a time of great changes in healthcare, and New York is emerging as a leader of innovation. We've recently undertaken several initiatives to address the challenges and changes in our healthcare system. Regional planning will be a key element in each of these initiatives as we set out to create a strong and high-performing healthcare delivery system, especially in rural communities and around the state. At the core is the State Health Innovation Plan, our roadmap to achieving the triple aim, better patient care, improved population health, and lower costs. The SHIP calls for an advanced primary care model that will improve access to high quality, high value primary care. The APC model will enable primary care providers to deliver patient-centered care, the kind of care that all New Yorkers deserve. The kind of care that will help consumers make wise choices that result in better health and well-being at reduced cost. New York recently reached an agreement with the federal government that will enable us to continue transforming our Medicaid system. A key component is the Delivery System Reform Incentive Payment Plan. The DISRIP will reinvest a portion of the federal savings already produced by the Medicaid Redesign Team initiatives and use those funds to help reduce avoidable hospital use by 25%. New York also has a prevention agenda that gives explicit targets on what we want in terms of better health. It calls on hospitals and county health departments to work together to identify their community health needs and prioritize programming based on those needs. But none of these initiatives can be successfully achieved without strong regional health planning. Through this planning, communities can identify high priority populations, health and healthcare needs. These may include chronic disease management as well as the behavioral and environmental factors that impact demand for healthcare services. Communities can then develop appropriate interventions to align healthcare resources with those needs. By making sure that resources are available to manage chronic disease and prevent illness and disability, we can reduce demand for higher, more costly levels of care. The North Country Health Compass is a great example of what can be achieved when everyone is involved in the health of a community. This includes businesses, schools, media, local government, as well as healthcare providers. By making data-supported decisions about all factors in a community, including the environment, education, the economy, and public safety, as well as healthcare, we can bring health reform to the local level. Your goal of measuring health, inspiring community wellness, is vital to healthcare reforms locally, statewide, and nationally. An integrated approach is critical to achieving our goals. I commend you for your work. Thank you.